Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H. And today on the project, I proudly present to you this 1998 Jeep Grand Cherokee. This Jeep was donated to the channel as our new project car. That's right, free ZJ. So let's go check this thing out. All right, guys, so this is our new ZJ. Not a bad vehicle. Um, a couple days ago, actually the day that the Commander was down at Gabe's, that day started off like crap. The Commander was broken. I was down in the dumps. I decided to film the five things I love about my XJ to boost my spirits. After that, I got a call from Gabe. He had fixed the Commander, so things were getting better. Uh, then I sold some XJ seats. I made $100 selling XJ seats. And then I get a call from my brothers, brother-in-law and he got a new vehicle and he asked me if I wanted this. I said, how much? And he said, for free. So here's a clip of my reaction that I filmed that day. Hell yeah, I want it. Free Jeep. So the Dan H channel is about to acquire another vehicle. I know nothing about this thing, only it runs and it's a ZJ. Jackpot. And yes, I really didn't know that much about it at all. Uh, I did know that it was in the possession of my sister-in-law, um, and I knew my brother had done a little bit of work to it. But uh, other than that, um, I wasn't sure anything about it. I wasn't sure if it was a straight six, a V8. Uh, I didn't know what trim package it was. And uh, I found out that, obviously, it is a Laredo. Um, and this Jeep is kind of interesting. I think it's a special edition because the Laredos had the plastic colored trim and the Limiteds had the body color match trim. So this thing has the chrome grill like the Laredos, but it also has the painted trim panels to match, um, like the Limiteds. Uh, it even has the Limited wheels. Let's see what else it has. It has the hatch, hatch glass, and um, it's a pretty cool color. Um, I don't see too many of this color out there. It is the PJ7 Chargol Satin Metallic color. And it's kind of like, uh, I don't know, it's like iridescent. You could kind of see some gold in it, and you could kind of see some silver in it. It's definitely color changing. So starting from here, you can see that this body is just about perfect. It's got its, uh, you know, typical scratches, some paint missing here, no biggie. The biggest ugly of the front and the body would have to be Damage from an accident. Now, let's see here. Uh, this bumper is, is definitely shot. Um, also, the headlight in here is pretty smashed up. I don't think I could save any of these lenses. Nope, uh, no point to it. They're a dime a dozen. Um, let's see, I think the grill is cracked a little bit. Um, the header panel is most likely shot. Uh, moving down here, this fog light is bashed. So that's a goner. And coming around on the side, we got the uh, zip tie holding the bumper to the fender. So that kind of sucks. The fender's drilled, but no biggie there either. And up inside, the wheel well plastic is all smashed up. Uh, not a big deal at all. It's minor, minor stuff. Um, and it will be fixed. And unfortunately, the hood is kind of jacked up in here. Um, that stinks, the hood is almost perfect, but no biggie, I'll fix that too. It's all good, baby, baby. All right, so let's move it on to the inside. Unlock. All right, the hatch works. That's great. <laughs> but the pistons do not. So that's on the list of things to do. Ugh. No worries, you just uh, prop it up with your head, like so and you reach into the spare tire cover, like so, and you pull out the vice grips. And you got the old vice grip trick. There we go, hatch is opened. Now, as you can see, the hatch interior has been ripped off. Um, I can only imagine 
it's missing due to the frustration of the latch getting stuck and easy access would say get rid of the trim so you don't have to deal with that anymore but I am going to show you how to fix it the right way <laughs> without having to botch your interior and I might even throw in a special invention I've been thinking about lately to permanently solve this hatch problem once and for all all right so checking out the interior it is pretty clean in here man this is looking good from this point of view um, carpets are clean no nasty junk in here everything's intact uh, let's see the headliner has been redone by my brother good job Mikey uh, we're missing this piece too I don't know if this was also a casualty of the stuck liftgate latch but uh, we'll definitely fix this too all right moving into the back this is another plus look at how clean these back seats are it's a uh, it's really amazing in here it's very very clean and um, everything works all right there we go pop the camera up there all right I'm gonna fold down these seats and we're gonna check out the cargo area with the seats down um, just give these little seat rests a twist the headrest pop right out and you could put the seats down lift the tab oh you know what before i do that <laughs> zj's have a great cup holder right here fantastic actually i don't have that nice all right seat goes down oh infinity gold uh amplifier that's cool there and this little tab up oh, for that put the headrest back in this spot And then the back seats fold down. Cool. Same thing here. Headrest come out. Bottom folds up. Hey, we got a jack. Sweet. Headrest go in the back of the seat. Seats fold down. Pretty nice. All right, with the seats folded down, there's definitely some nice cargo space in here. Um, it's very similar to the XJ. I'm really digging the way the ZJ has the headrest relocation to get these seats down. Um, makes you wonder why Jeep never put a uh, thought into putting headrests in the XJ rear seats. I don't know why. I know they did that in Australia for a fact, but uh, not in North America. <laughs> Strange, go figure. But yeah, that's really cool. And these seats are in pretty great condition back here. Uh, I love the dark leather. It's my favorite color. And um, it's in really great shape. All right, and here we have a nice rust stain. Why? Because the hatch is starting to rust. All right, so now to close the hatch, we gotta, you know, prop it up with our head, and then we release the vice grips, slide them back in the pouch, grab the tire holder, and <laughs> here we go. Boom. Closed. And this ZJ also has the glass hatch. Now, unfortunately, these, uh, these pistons are uh, shot too, but, Either way, I love this option. I think it's amazing to have the glass open. So that concludes the back. And while we're coming around to the front, we can check out these rims. Uh, I'm not sure the name of the rims, but uh, these have seen their day. I could probably powder coat them. I really don't feel like spending the money. Um, I love to find just a new set of wheels that are nice. Um, I love those 5.9 limited wheels on that ZJ. Uh, those are pretty hot, but uh, I probably wouldn't be able to find those. They're kind of rare. And uh, yeah, but no worries. Uh, these tires are pretty good up here. Uh, they're a little squared off down there, and they're definitely a little rounded off up here. So I'm gonna have to do a tire rotation. No biggie. Um, so, good tires. Nice. 
and let's go inside. All right, the uh, door hinge is very loose. I'm gonna have to replace that door hinge because it's kind of sloppy. The door drops down when you close it. No worries. Of course, we got this torn up seat here. This is the only blemish to the interior is the driver's side. Man, I wish they made these better. It's such a shame that the seats crack so bad. But all in all, the interior is still really nice. I'm gonna need to replace this uh, armrest. I wonder if I could just replace this insert. That would be cool. I don't know, we'll see. And of course, these door panels are very neat. Uh, matte pockets on a spring. That's cool. And we got the Infinity Gold speakers. Too bad they're all blown. All right, moving into the dash. I believe that all ZJs had a uh, wood grain dash up here. Now these were spray painted and regardless of the Limited or Laredo, these I'm pretty sure were wood. Uh, I think the only time this was uh, the wood grain was if it was a Limited. Uh, very strange, uh, no big deal at all. Uh, maybe I'll find the wood grain one day. Not a big deal at all. Uh, I really don't like the ZJ steering wheel from 96 to 98. I don't know why. Something about this really upsets me. You know what? Star Wars. I bet you George Lucas drove a ZJ, and that's how they got the idea for General Grievous' face. <laughs> so, so this console definitely is much bigger than the XJs. This is a very, very nice cushiony armrest. Um, we got, we got change. I counted this. This is about two dollars and eighty-three cents of change. So actually, I got paid to take this EJ. Getting it at a good price. So. <laughs> <laughs> if it's free, it's for me. Non-negotiable. Non-negotiable. You can't take less than free, can you? Yeah. <laughs> well, as far as I know, yeah. unless you pay me want to me to pay you. <laughs> yeah, and of course we have the select track transfer case in here, which is great. Uh, we got the part-time and full-time four-wheel drive. Fantastic. All right, let's start her up and see how she sounds. All right, we got 151,000 miles. That's pretty fantastic. This is a straight sick, so this has a ton of life left in it. We got the radio. All the speakers work, but they sound like crap. They are blown. Um, there is a weird noise that comes from under the dash, uh, up in here, kind of in the heater core area. Definitely got that swishy, swirly sound, and um, it sounds like there's air bubbles probably trapped in the heater core. Uh, also, when this thing is up at operating temperature, I'm not getting heat. So um, it leads me to believe that there is air trapped in the heater core. It's not circulating in there properly. So that's why I'm not getting my heat. Um, the only problem is I did feel the inlet and the outlet tubes of the heater core and both of them are hot so that kind of contradicts that theory um, so it might be there's still air trapped in there and it also might be the the mode door that uh, allows me to change the heat that could be busted and uh, we'll sort all of that out no worries but this thing is uh pretty awesome we got heated seats I don't think they work but we could try to fix that we got the fog lights, and of course one of them's busted. We'll fix that. Um, everything else is pretty good, man. Let's pop open the hood. Don't want to lock myself out because I don't have a spare key yet, so I'm not closing the door. All right. I love these hinges, man. 
No prop rod. That is the best. This thing runs so smooth. All right, let's go for a little drive. All right, here we go. A little test drive. Here you go. In this grassy little area, I'll check out the four-wheel drive. So here we go, four-wheel part-time. Hey, nice. I love this little info display up here. All right, that was a nice smooth shift. No clunks, no grinding. Oh, there's a clunk. All right. That was a big clunk. <laughs> Let's see the damage. Uh, hey! Sway bar. Uh. Oh well. <laughs> Looks like I'm gonna need sway bar end links. I don't know guys, what do you think? Have you ever heard that in a ZJ? I heard this since day one when I first took it out of the driveway. And it is making some gargly, bubbly washing machine noise. I'm not sure exactly where it's coming from. <laughs> is it fluid in the heater core gargling? I don't know. It's like a swirly, squirrely, squishy sound. Oh. All four windows work, so that's cool. All the doors lock and unlock. That's very good. Uh, that right there tells me that there's no breaks in the boots and uh, the doors, so that's very good. Uh, I think the sunroof works, but it leaks. I know that for sure. The, I think the sunroof still doesn't close all the way, because right. there's sometimes after a heavy rain, if I come to a stop, I will get a waterfall. Get a, oh, oh man. So I'm not even gonna mess with that. All right, the transmission just slipped a little bit there. Gonna have to check the trans fluid. Um, hope that's not too big of a problem. We'll sort that anyway. All around, it's a pretty smooth ride. I like it. Uh, 150,000 miles. Can't beat it. Everything's really nice. Uh, I'm going to take my time, and I'm going to try to fix this car. So uh, let me get back to the uh, field. I'll give you an outro. Tonight, I'm definitely going to hit up Craigslist and find some parts for this thing. All right, so the test drive final thoughts. It's making that squishy sound. Got to fix that. It drives straight. Uh, the engine is strong and smooth, it brakes straight, um, the transfer case shifts very well. Transmission, uh, it slips a little from first to second when I get on it. I'll definitely change the transmission fluid, see if that helps. I'm missing a <laughs> rear view mirror, I don't know where that went. All the doors lock and unlock, so that's great. Uh, the windows go up and down. Just some cosmetic things I gotta work on. All in all, I am digging this ride. I love this ZJ. It seems a little smaller than the XJ. If it wasn't for this sunroof, I think my head might hit the headliner. Gonna have to get sway bar end links, but uh, yeah, this is a great car. I'm digging it. All right guys, that's gonna do it for the introduction to our new Jeep. Um, this is a free ZJ. Uh, free Z, Freezy. Freezy? I'm feeling hot. I find that unlikely. Mr. Freeze, I don't know. I need a name for it, so let me know what you think. Um, I want to give a special thank you to Rob. Rob is a Marine Corps veteran. He's the one who donated this vehicle to the channel. So thank you for the Jeep, Rob. More importantly, thank you for your service. I'm going to try to repair this thing back to its original condition. I'm going to fix everything on it and I'm gonna get it in good running condition. I'm gonna drive it around for a bit, get a feel for it, and then uh, decide how I wanna mod it. Sky's the limit for this thing. Since it was free, uh, I really don't have any plans, and um, I'd like to know what you guys wanna see me do to it. 
So let me know. Uh, this is going to be the all-around fun vehicle. Uh, anything goes. So again, let me know what you want to see. I think this will take the place of Beach Jeep for the time being. I'll throw my family in this thing. We'll have some fun in it. And then I'll take my time and I'll build a Beach Jeep the right way. I'll make sure everything gets done right on that. And we'll definitely enjoy this. So thank you guys for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. And I will see you again on the next project. Ooh, I see it. There it is. Nice.